So what's being done here is this is a 6.2 diesel engine that's been pulled out of a Humvee that we're going to be using for a display at the armory across the street. And since we are doing an automotive class on Tuesdays, we are taking this apart to prepare to rebuild it, which should be. And this is our shop. Nothing real secretive or classified here. No missiles or tanks or anything like that. Just a regular automotive shop that's, well, got stuff that's waiting for parts. That's an engine right there. <clears throat> That's the transmission out of this truck. And this is the Humvee that we have taken all the parts out of and is about to turn it into a static display. Parts and tools. And stuff like that. Just things. Now, unfortunately, unlike my friend Roman, he's got a fancy camera. I don't. I gotta work with this thing. Stored, and we're going to watch my camera teeter to the side. So I think I'm just going to hold it here. Let's open it. Please. This building right over here that's our metal shop. That's where we do a lot of metal fabrication and tool making. Our electronic shop where we do all sorts of electrical calibrations. Wood shop. Oh, good, it's open. Uh, that's one of the unit's motor pools. They're kind of deployed now. This back here is our vehicle storage. And as I, I've said before, nothing here is really top secret or classified. Um, I mean, we're, we're right next to an apartment complex, so I mean, if this was secret and classified or top secret or some sort of ninja stuff, um, yeah, you know, we'd be under a dome or something like that. But yeah, nothing fancy, just vehicles and certain methods of repair and keep them speeding and I like that. I wonder why they're racing. I think I'm gonna go find out. Hey, break time ain't up yet, man. I don't know what the hurry is. A left foot over here. He came racing in. <laughs> because I can't. Because America. <laughs> My First Amendment, my rights, my roads. Something like that. Yeah, we're surrounded by the wonderful city of Long Beach here. 
literally. I can show some old photos of this in the 1950s and 60s if I can find them. And yeah, it was surrounded by houses by the end, too. Now, of course, when we take our lunch breaks, this would be our break room. across the street, that's state maintenance for the facilities. They're the ones that fix all the all the uh, broken sinks and plug drains. And of course, they can't even fix their own tent. That was hit by a windstorm not too long ago. Uh, that's another armory over there. That's one of the armories that we serve. Over there in the back is Signal Hill. You can see why it's called Signal Hill. It's got uh, got lots of antennas and stuff. Now I've never done one of these sort of the the life of YouTube videos, so I, I definitely hope that we can get a you know get a lot of comments and suggestions. I, I'm open to anything right now. So what? Who? Ouch! Yeah. Okay, Daddy. More like your mama. That's my bay. I just realized something on that. That's kind of funny. And yeah. Okay. So I'm now on my way home from work. Um, I'm stuck on the 405, uh, which is probably one of the most congested freeways in California. Mm, second most, I think. Actually, all the freeways in Southern California are pretty congested. Um, if I don't have traffic, if this is a nice, quiet day, America's not going to work, things like that, it might take me about 30 minutes. Might. Um, we'll get up to a sign here that usually gives me the route to I-10, which is close to my home. Uh, you know, on a clear day, it'll save about 25 minutes from that sign. Uh, today's going to be interesting because my GPS navigator has told me that it's going to take me an hour to get home. An hour before I can get home, relax, and do stuff. It's not too bad. That's about normal. The traffic seems kind of light. Uh, we'll see what happens. This, this ought to be an interesting day for my Russian friends in Russia who are viewing this and trying to figure out what in the world is the American trying to say? And it begins. Wonderful. They just built the 105 freeway maybe 10 years ago. That's the overpass here. And unfortunately, when they built this, they never actually thought about widening this portion of the 605. Now, right now, it's five lanes. Uh, the fifth lane is for uh, uh, carpooling, uh, two or more people per car, or natural gas car or something like that so so that lane that lane right there in the end doesn't really count um, it does but it doesn't either way the, the 105 which is right here merging on um, in about not less than a, maybe a quarter of a mile ahead 
you go on the five. And it bottlenecks. It drops down a lane. And you can see the density of the traffic here, how ridiculous it is. And um, it's like this every day. I mean, in the morning, in the night. This is 3.30. This is this is 3:30 in the evening. This is this is what's driving me nuts. You know, the whole world is going home. Um, I don't know. Uh, I got a great question for for my Russian viewers, and, and you can hit it in the in the in the comments section. Is what's traffic like in Russia? I mean, is it all like Moscow, like I see? I mean, what about Saint Petersburg or? Um, uh, some of the other cities that I, I, I can't think of that have been renamed since the Cold War. Um, I, I'd have to think of them right now. Uh, my, my mind is a blank because I'm holding the camera here, zooming around, showing you that this nightmare that I call traffic in L.A. and uh, trying to drive at the same time. But, yeah, you know, that, that'd be great. I, I've got so many questions about Russia, it's not even funny. Um... That, that's that's my thing, and I, I guess I guess now that I got a fan base, thanks to Roman, um, I'm going to be doing a lot of these. And, and, and for you new folks that aren't Russian, my my friend um, Roman Stepanov uh, has a YouTube channel, um, and and this is for the new folks. Um, he has a YouTube channel, and it's mostly for all the Russian folk back home. And we did an incredible video where I tried a Russian military 24-hour uh, ration. Um, and it's just been going viral. It's, it's amazing. It, it, you know, from what I have learned in, in the past two days of the Russian people, it, it's just, it's mind-boggling how, how wonderfully friendly they are and, and stuff like that. I mean, if I can get a video of my brother uh, when I get home, first of all, I gotta get a video of my brother. Second of all, he'll probably just say, man, when he's on the camera or, or something. Uh, that Something happened with my niece today. Uh, my niece is five. Um, and uh, my, my, the mother of my niece is not with my brother. Uh, my brother's married to somebody else. And um, so in my, my personal opinion, uh, I, I think mommy went off the, the, the short end of the diving board this morning uh, because my niece has got the sniffles. Um, you know, the usual childhood stuff, and she's got a cough, and, you know, my brother being the very good, wonderful, awesome father he is, and I cannot stress that enough, that he's just an incredible father, um, you know, is it, taking time off from work to, to take her to the doctor just to make sure everything's all right, and I'm pretty sure everything's all right. Um, oops. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think everything's all right. I, I think I think the mother's just overreacting because the mother is not doing mother things. Um, you know, my, my, my brother and his wife are, are incredible, incredible parents. Um, room for improvement, sure. I mean, room for improvement for everybody is is the norm. But. Uh, yeah, no, they're 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 incredible, incredible parents. Um, you know, I, I can't stress that enough. Um, the only thing I don't like is sometimes, even when the kid's not around, they'll try and parent me, and I'm like, uh, look, I'm 48. I've been serving 30 years in the army. Uh, you know, don't try and don't try and civilianize me, bro. <laughs> Go. And here comes the bottom back. Oh, that was painless. Oh, 
problem is. The only problem is, you know, with, with this bottleneck here is after the bottleneck clears up and we, we go back to uh, four lanes slash five lanes, if you want to include the carpool lane, is um, it still gets jammed up. And I think it's, it amazes me why people drive so doggone slow. Oh, that looks like a fun truck. That looks like that's an electric video. out of the sun. Uh, I mean, it's kind of a hazy day today, but um, I'm looking at the screen here, and the screen's looking like um, I'm too dark, and people can't see me and stuff like that. Ooh, we're moving. And we're moving, and we're moving. So, um, I'm going to get back to this driving here, um, and I'll probably do a fade to something, and... Uh, yeah, I'll grab dinner and all that sort of stuff and figure out what I'm going to do for the rest of the day, which I kind of know it. Well, I finally made it home, and I made it home in some decent time. It's 4.30 now. I left my work at about 3.30, and like I said, it takes me about 30 minutes to get home, uh, get home when the freeway's clear. So this is about an average day. Um, tonight, instead of uh, cooking something at home, which I usually don't do because A, I'm tired, B, I'm tired, and C, I'm just freaking tired, I'm going to go to my favorite little uh, Mexican food place here in a minute and get myself a vegetarian burrito because... I'm California like that. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the beautiful city of West Covina, where I get everything out of focus on my camera. Um, that's the Puente Hills right back there. Uh, if anybody's ever seen the original War of the Worlds, yeah, those were the Puente Hills they were talking about. So the, the Martians were somewhere over there. Uh, light screen, dude. Come on. Let's go. Alright, we're coming up on my place now. Yeah, this, this thing's been around since the 70s, so it's uh really, really cool little outdoorsy thing. It's only a few blocks from my house, so, uh, you know, the, and, and the food here is great, so, I mean, that, that's what makes um, it so awesome. Let me go ahead and get a bean and cheese burrito. Bean and cheese burrito. Add rice, sour cream, guacamole and put some chopped onions in there and then uh, let me get a small Mexican Coke and I think I'll do the eight piece jalapeno poppers too. We're gonna be for here. No, no, change, and I'm holding a camera in my hand.
This is bit right down there. That's Old Town West Covina. Um, this, I don't know if you guys can see it. That's Mount Baldy right there. I've been living here all my life. This place has changed so much. Yes, that's my truck. And I'm gonna go sit down here and eat as soon as my food is ready. It's like, hello. <laughs> Dinner is served. Look at this burrito. This thing's huge. Stuffed jalapenos, complimentary chips, ranch dressing, and of course, a Mexican Coke. Right now, which is good, and uh, I'll talk to you guys a little bit.